cash out or not to cash out? That is the question. <laughs> What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another episode of Ash Bash Waffles On and today's subject is, is it hard to keep hold of these hype trainers when the resale price for them is so goddamn tempting? Hmm. So if you've been following my channel for a while, I have picked up quite a bit of hype stuff, well quote unquote hype stuff over the year or years or whatever it is, especially my last pick up being the off-white blazers. When I actually went to pick that sneaker up itself, I was literally, I paid, went to leave, and about 30 seconds later, some kid came up to me and he was like, hey, you selling? And I was like, first of all, <laughs> do you wanna be a bit discreet? Like, it's literally just running up to everybody and just saying, are you selling, like, right in the shop, but it's what it is. And he offered me, like, 450, 500 pounds right on that spot so i've literally just paid 115 pounds for an item that i want and someone is willing to offer me that bigger jump up in price without me doing anything kind of makes you understand why these resellers are out there doing what they do because making that big of a jump like just after doing pretty much nothing is a bit crazy but obviously i didn't sell them because you saw my review that i posted yesterday if you didn't see that Looked that up, the off-white blazers, had all hellos leave and all that, but I guess I could see it being tempting for people if, for one, if they want to be a reseller and just make some easy money, it's a no-brainer. If you get some hype stuff, why not sell it on? Me, as a sneaker head or sneaker collector, all the air quotes, whatever you want to call it, I actually like the sneakers and I want to keep them. That's the reason why I bought them in the first place. It is very, very, very rare, especially in recent times. I can't even think of a pair in recent times where I bought it with the sole intention to sell it on that. I have no interest in wearing this sneaker. I'm getting rid of it as soon as I get it. I can't even think of a pair where that's happened. There might have been a pair that I bought, didn't like, and either I sent it back or maybe sold it, but I can't even think of a pair, literally, that I've even sold. I had the Jordan Legacy 312s, but they didn't go for money anyways. So I literally return them to the store. Maybe if they had gone for money, and because I, I didn't particularly like them that much, maybe I would have sold them, but probably not, because one, I can't be asked, and two, is a very rare occasion that actually comes up. With these hype releases, I actually, I like the sneaker. It might be hyped, but there's a reason why it's hyped, is because it's dope generally. Like this pair right here, for example, the Air Max One uh, Para Super Fire sneaker. Managed to get them off my boy Sam, who hooked me up for retail. Proper G as usual. Follow his channel if you're not following it already, Sam Samuel Sagwa. But like, he gave me the receipt and everything. So if I wanted to, I literally could have just went, cheers mate, and then just sold them on. But this is a fire sneaker. I wanted a sneaker in the first place, so selling it would be crazy. Like, just don't make sense to me to do so. In that sense, it's generally not tough for me to keep sneakers that I've like bought because I bought them for a reason that they fire. The slim chance that they don't fit, try and do a size swap if I can, and then who knows what after that. But again, luckily I've been pretty lucky with most kicks that it doesn't happen. But yeah, for me, not a tough, not a tough ask keeping them and not selling them on. But I can imagine if your finances are set up how they're set up and making a quick buck makes more sense than keeping the trainers. It is what it is. I won't knock you for it, I guess. If the money is that valuable to you and you need it, it makes sense. Or maybe you're buying like, say if you bought the Prestos, you didn't love the Prestos, but you managed to get a pair and you really, really wanted like the Yeezy 700s, whatever. The Yeezy 700s retailed for 250, so I can imagine you getting these, selling them, getting a pair of sneakers that you like. I hate it because it might mess me up from getting a pair, but I kind of get it and it makes sense, but it's not something that I really plan on doing. Very unlikely. Um, this is being filmed like literally on Monday. It is what time right now? 
at six o'clock right now, so I can tell you information that's happening right now. But there was a restock of the Sean Wotherspoons from End Clothing. End opened their London branch today, or maybe it was yesterday. Uh, but I think it was the official launch, whatever, today. So they restocked the Sean Wotherspoon 97 ones. I've probably mentioned it on the channel before that I wasn't a huge, huge, huge fan of that sneaker. Uh, I have seen it a few times since, because like, literally, I've never really seen anybody like rocking it in public. But the other day, I think it was when I went to the panel meetup, someone was rocking them, or they brought them with them, and I was like, they're actually kind of dope. So I've actually put my name in the hat with end clothing. They always give me L's anyway, so I'm not expecting it, but you might see a review of it on my channel. If it is a sneaker that I like, I'll keep it. If it's not, I don't know, might do a giveaway on the channel or something, I don't know, but we shall see. Just so you get some clarity on what's going on with me and all that. But yeah, just a little quick little topic, hopefully you enjoyed. I've actually thought of some new little ideas for the channel, so you might see another video pop up sometime this week with a little bit of different content, but stay tuned for that. But yeah, as usual, me waffling on every single Monday, I try my best to do it, and sneak reviews as and when I pick stuff up. Check out my recent review, pretty dope one for the Nike Blazer Off-White collab. Really, really liking those shoes, glad to have got them. Anywho, follow me on Instagram, Ashbash Sneakers, where I post dope pics, and Twitter, where I rant about this and that, that and this. I'm out. Later, y'all.